Hello from Basecamp at the Big House, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom. This is day two of our trek, and we will begin to investigate the tools needed for a successful wisdom trek. As I mentioned in the first couple of our episodes, I will strive to be transparent and authentic in our daily podcasts and journals. I welcome you into our camp and this trek, and I thank you for joining us today. Today we are recording our podcast from our studios in the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. You may hear external sounds of the outdoors, such as birds singing or other noises, but instead of being distracting, it can add to the authenticity of our life. I may not always present a perfect podcast or journal, but I will provide valuable content in an excellent manner. So let's begin. Today I want to focus on the tools that are needed to have a successful trek to gain wisdom. On day zero, we set up base camp, and I was able to introduce myself so that you could get to know me better. On day one, we discussed the guidelines for a successful trek. If you have not taken the opportunity to listen to these podcasts or read the corresponding journals, I would encourage you to do so. I would also encourage you to subscribe on iTunes or your favorite media site so that the daily episodes will download automatically for you. I will use the analogies of hiking throughout my episodes because it ties into our lives as we trek through each day. With any camping, hiking, or trek that we experience, as with life each day, we need the proper tools and equipment to help us to have a successful trek. Yesterday, we looked at the need to have a destination in mind and establishing good habits or guidelines to reach the destination through the use of a compass, GPS, or map. We realize that we may get off the path, but with the proper guidelines and the destination set and the proper habits ingrained into the fabric of our lives, we can stay the course. Today, we want to look at the tools needed to have a successful trek that will enable us to live abundantly or fully and serve a purpose that is greater than ourselves. In other words, what tools are needed to create a living legacy that positively impacts everyone that is in our world? What are the tools that we need to have in our backpack for a successful wisdom trek? Well, as a person of faith, many of my lessons and examples of wisdom will come from the Bible because that is the foundation for wisdom in my life. Today, the tools or the attributes that we want to study are taken from the book of Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Just as I am your guide to wisdom, these tools should be part of everyone's trek for wisdom. These attributes are provided by God's Spirit, which guides my life. These tools or attributes are referred to in Galatians as the fruit of the Spirit. If we see fruit on a tree, such as an apple, we know what kind of tree because of what kind of fruit it has on it. In the same way, others will be able to tell what type of person we are by the fruit or attributes that are manifested in our lives. This is an important concept to grasp as we look at the various tools or attributes that we will need in our lives in order to be wise and create a living legacy. As we explore these tools, I would like you to visualize your life as a wheel or particularly a bike tire with the hubs and spokes extending from the hub. Without the hub as the core or foundation, the remaining tools or spokes would not have anything to attach to and the wheel would be broken and useless. The first tool or attribute, which is the hub of the wheel, is love. Without love, then the other tools or attributes or spokes as we refer to them as are not nearly as effective. In order for the remaining tools to have impact on our successful wisdom trek, we must love ourselves and others unconditionally, as much as humanly possible. There was a song written by Hal David and composed by Burt Bacharach in 1965, and it's been sung by many artists since, called What the World Needs Now is Love. As in all ages of time, and especially today, these words certainly hold true. This is so true that Christ taught that the entire scriptures can be summed up in two commands, love God and love others as yourself. This is why love is the foundation tool for the others. The remaining tools or spokes in our wheel are joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If we relate this to our hiking or trek analogy, think of love as our backpack, which carries all the other necessary components or tools. It would be nearly impossible to hike a rough terrain without a backpack. So it is impossible to integrate the other tools into our lives without love. If we assimilate the nine tools into our everyday activities so that they are manifested as fruit, then it will allow us to live successful and abundant lives. This is how integrity is built, by integrating these nine tools into our everyday lives. When we do so successfully, our lives will impact our world and we can begin to leave a living legacy. We should not wait until we are no longer on this track of life to leave a legacy. Let every action each day positively impact others. 
Since love is a core or foundation tool or the hub of our bike tire, as we are using our analogy, or the backpack for our other tools, let's look at these tools a little closer. Love is the first one. Do you love yourself? If we do not have the proper love for ourselves, then we will not be able to love others properly. What we refer to as the golden rule is to treat others as you would like to be treated. We might substitute to love others as you would like to be loved. As humans, we all want to be loved and treated well. To create a living legacy, we must love ourselves and then we must love others unconditionally. This is very difficult, but honestly, ask yourself, does my love for others have strings attached? Is it based on their actions? Unconditional love must be free from all conditions. This is so difficult to achieve, but we must pursue this type of love. This love does not necessarily give in to others, nor is it giving others everything they desire. It is seeking out what's best for another person, regardless of how it may impact us. The best description of this type of love that I have found is located in 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7. Let these words sink into your soul as I read the passage about what love is and is not. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Love will last forever. I have created a full-color PDF that shows the two sides of love. If you would like a copy of this PDF, please go to the wisdom-trek.com forward slash day two. So as we wrap up today, love is the hub or the center of our bike tire, or it's the backpack where we pack all the other tools. You must have love in place in order to have the other attributes work properly in your life. And that will wrap it up for today's nugget of wisdom. On the days to follow, we will look at the other tools individually and how they tie in with love and how they can help us to have a successful wisdom track and create a legacy of wisdom. As we discuss each of these, I encourage you to leave a discussion topic, comment, suggestion, or question in the comments form on wisdom-trek.com forward slash day two, or email me at guthrie, G-U-T-H-R-I-E, at venturecg.com. That's guthrie at venturecg.com. If you've not done so already, I would be honored if you would take the time to visit iTunes and subscribe so that Wisdom Dash Trek will be available for you each day automatically. Also, please leave a rating for each episode and spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you for it. Now we'll finish our podcast or journal today. Tomorrow we will inspect the tool or attribute of joy and how that impacts our lives. Please check into our camp tomorrow and every day of our Wisdom-Trek Creating a Legacy. And as we trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. See you tomorrow.